A new study done globally on electric car batteries is proving a point that I myself and some of you as well have been making now for a while. Electric car batteries last a lot longer than the media and anti-EV fudsters are claiming they do. In fact, I've pointed out many times just how many older Teslas now have done more than 300,000 and in many cases even over 400 and even 500,000 miles on the same battery using NMC chemistry batteries. Lithium ion phosphate batteries should in theory last even longer than that. And I've been saying for a long time that your EV battery, you don't need to worry about it. It's gonna outlast the life of your car in almost all cases. This study basically proves this point. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Please forgive me, I've just woken up, I fell asleep sitting down. I must be getting old. Now, electric car batteries last around 40% longer than expected, says this new study. Battery degradation is something people talk about. They mention that battery degradation is going to damage your battery and you need to worry about this and you should be concerned if you charge, if you DC fast charge, you should be worried about that. If you have an NMC battery, uh, a non-lithium ion phosphate battery, you should be worried that your battery won't last for very long. But a new study by scientists at the SLAC Stanford Battery Center says that electric vehicle batteries could last significantly longer than previously expected. Remember, a lot of these old myths came about from old, older vehicles, as in, you know, pre-2020, that didn't have very good battery management systems. For example, the Nissan Leaf is the perfect is the perfect one. Battery degradation did affect cars without proper battery management systems, and it affects everything. You buy an electric scooter without a proper battery management system. Your battery won't last that long. Electric skateboard without one, it's not gonna last that long. It's the same for every product. According to Stanford's summary, the way battery life cycles are typically calculated isn't very good when it comes to EVs. This is because they assume a fairly constant discharge and recharge cycle, which actually doesn't happen with vehicles. Instead, EVs experience everything from short trips around town to long distance highway driving. There's also stop and go traffic as well as lots of sitting around in a parking lot. Charging also varies as some owners might top off the battery every night, while others may wait days between sessions. Now me personally, I'm just going to charge every day because I've got, I'm creating way too much excess electricity from my solar system. When I would say way too much, I mean, that's a positive, I think anyway. Now, using my Resync Solar System, my Resync Solar System, I'll put a link in the description below to the company. Um, I'm able to create enough energy to actually recharge two electric cars, basically completely every day. Most people though don't do that. This relatively uh, eclectic or chaotic life is something that can't be easily replicated in a laboratory. So, researchers created four discharge profiles based on driving data. With these in hand, they tested 92 different commercial lithium-ion batteries for more than two years. They found the more realistic the profile, the higher EV life expectancy climbed. In other words, they found that um, when they tested the batteries for what users actually normally do, the batteries lasted even longer. The study found some surprises, including that sharp, short acceleration can lead to slower degradation. So, you know, keep on dragging people off the lights. Why not? Now, in all seriousness, uh, it's kind of like a, a good reason to do, you know, sharp takeoffs from wherever you are. And I don't think that's a negative at all. I'm not telling you to go and drive really, really fast. That's not the study, not what the study was saying. This is the opposite of what you'd expect to happen in an internal combustion engine vehicle, or even in a battery vehicle for that matter. In addition, the study showed regen braking and giving batteries a rest helps them last longer. Good reason to make sure your electric car has proper regen braking. A lot of them don't. Guys, this is a, a sore point for me. I don't understand why people, customers, you're not listening. Pay attention to this. Your battery will last longer if you have a vehicle with regen braking. Uh, a lot of them don't. So this is something you want to consider when you buy an electric car. Does it have proper regen braking? It also means you're going to save more money, right? It's like refilling your fuel tank for free. If your EV isn't doing this properly, and many of them are not, 
then you're missing out significantly on additional cost savings. But it looks like you're also missing out on improving your battery life as well. Giving batteries a rest also helps them last longer. And this is pretty common. We don't use our cars every single day of the week um, or year. People have unusual things. They go on holidays, they do all kinds of stuff. There are also important distinctions between time and cycles when it comes to battery aging. Cycles are more important for EVs that are constantly in use, such as taxis, buses, and delivery vans. For consumers, though, here's the one thing. Time is the ultimate enemy. Researchers said automakers could update their EV battery management software to take advantage of new findings and to maximize battery longevity under real-world conditions. Here's probably a key argument for Tesla that Tesla could really fairly make. They're one of probably the only real company that is doing lots of updates constantly to their cars. And this is the kind of thing that Tesla could easily change in their vehicles for an over-the-air update. BYD does do some over-the-air updates as well. But this is really worth pointing out for, for new manufacturers that this research data from Stanford can show how batteries can, or the life of batteries can be improved. But the big takeaway that the Stanford researchers found was that batteries last much longer than what the media has been telling us. And batteries will generally outlast the life of the car. In fact, considering the improvements in batteries since this test, right, since this study, I mean, this study was looking at many older vehicles, older batteries with older battery, battery management systems. But keep in mind, newer batteries coming out of particularly China, who are the biggest manufacturer of batteries in the world, shows that these batteries last much longer. And that's why companies now are starting to give their batteries even lifetime warranties. MG has done that um, on some of their cars being sold in Southeast Asia. The GM Wuling Sake Motors Joint Venture Partnership with their $5,000 EV, they're now offering a lifetime warranty on the drivetrain. And CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, are now guaranteeing that some of their batteries will last a minimum of one million kilometers before they even hit 80% battery degradation. Battery life will continue to improve as manufacturers develop new ways of making them better with each successive generation. What that means is, well, people are gonna say, hey, Sam, I'm holding off buying an EV because batteries are gonna be even better next year. But you could make that argument every single year until the day of your death, which would mean you'd be missing out on buying an EV and enjoying owning one today, enjoying the enormous ownership benefits in terms of actual costs day to day, being able to charge your EV, being able to have a much nicer drive experience, being able to potentially even you know harness extra solar power from your roof that you're not currently using. My, my answer to that question is, or to that statement, I'm gonna wait till next year, I'm gonna wait, and they keep on waiting and keep on waiting, is this. It's never gonna change. Batteries will get better, EVs will get better every single year. You can't avoid that reality. If you don't yet have an EV because you're waiting for this newer technology, well, you could be waiting forever.